Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about carpal tunnel syndrome at the wrist. And what this is caused by carpal tunnel syndrome is you have a nerve that runs down your arm called the median nerve. And it travels through a part of your wrist called the carpal tunnel and it goes to three and a half fingers. It has distributions in three and a half fingers of your hand. So it goes to your thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, and half your ring finger. The half of your ring finger that's closest to your middle finger. If you have symptoms of, uh, in your hand and it's the other half of your ring finger and your pinky finger, that's not the median nerve that's affected, that's the ulnar nerve. Carpal tunnel syndrome affects the median nerve, so if you have trouble gripping things with your hand, if you have trouble holding onto objects, if you have pain tingling and numbness in your hand, in this distribution, then that's likely, could be carpal tunnel. So I'm going to show you two tests that you can do to see if you have carpal tunnel or not. And the first test that I want to go over with you is called the Tennell's test. So all you do for this test is you keep your hand straight and all you do is go right above your wrist onto your hand like that and you just tap there and you see if you can recreate the symptoms of carpal tunnel. So if you have pain in your thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, half your ring finger, when you do this, or Tennell's test, that could indicate carpal tunnel. And then the second test I want to show you is Phelan's test. To do this, all you do is you take your hands, put, put them together like this, and then you just hold that position for 60 seconds and see if you can recreate the pain, tingling, and numbness in your fingers from, carpal, from your median nerve being affected. So if doing this for 60 seconds recreates those symptoms, then you likely could have carpal tunnel syndrome. So if your Tennell's test is positive, Phelan's test is positive, then you should go see uh, someone who can treat carpal tunnel syndrome like your doctor or physical therapist, someone like that, and see what they can specifically offer to you because Maybe you do have carpal tunnel, maybe you don't. It could be something else. All right, guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you like this video, then please like it, thumb it up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later.